Hello everyone! In this week's video, we're going to be looking through some of my old sketchbooks. So my mom has been cleaning out the garage attic. The attic of our garage is filled with all kinds of things. Whenever there's something we don't want in the house, we tend to just shove it up into the garage attic. <laughs> uh, well, while my mom was cleaning, she found a bunch of old sketchbooks of mine. I sort of flipped through them a little bit, but I don't know what's in all of these. And I thought it might be fun to make a video looking through them with all of you. But before we start, I want to thank Alice Closet for sponsoring this video. Alice Claus is a fantasy DIY dress-up game that takes place in a dreamlike wonderland. Navigate the fantasy wonderland and meet many interesting characters along the way. The characters are designed by Arina Tanemura. She is a Japanese manga artist, illustrator, and character designer. She has worked on projects like Phantom Thief Jean, Full Moon O Sagashite, and is the character designer for Idolish 7. I absolutely love the style of the game. It's so soft and pretty. Obviously, I love the Japanese anime art style. I especially love the shoujo style of this game. The soft voluminous hair and big shiny eyes are so beautiful. This game is a good choice if you are fond of this distinctive form of Japanese animation like I am. So how about we jump into the game and dress up an Alice? So you have four different Alice that you can dress up. I haven't dressed up this one yet, so let's choose her. I've been playing the game quite a bit, so I'm lacked a good amount of items. I guess let's start by picking her hairstyle. Hmm, I have quite a few to choose from. Ooh, this one's really pretty. I'll go with this one. Next, let's pick out a shirt. Uh, this one looks really fancy. I quite like this one. Uh, now she needs a skirt or something. This one matches really nicely. It's the same green. Oh, of course it does. It's in the same outfit set. <laughs> They're both the Bon Bon candy set. I wonder if I have more in this set. Let's see. Oh, here are the socks. And I have the shoes. Yay. I wonder if I have any accessories that match. Ah, here's the headband. Now I want to add something fancy to the background. I really like these stars. I use them all the time. <laughs> I think they're so pretty. Okay, now that I picked out her outfit, I'll tap save. And ta-da, she is all dressed up. Also, Alice Closet was super nice and gave me this promotional code for all of you to use. To redeem the code, tap the avatar in the left of the screen, then tap menu and gift code, and then just enter a code to redeem the reward. Not only are there tons of different outfits to dress up in, there's also the main game that takes you through a story where you will meet many characters. There's even voice acting in the game. So far my favorite character is Edgar. <laughs> You can also run your own shop where you help customers find the perfect item they are looking for. Also, if you'd like to send me a friend request in the game, here's my player ID. If you like anime style dress up games, I definitely recommend checking this out. If you'd like to download Alice Closet and play this game for yourself, there's a link in the description. You can also scan this QR code. Thank you so much again to Alice Closet for sponsoring this video. So here are all the old sketchbooks. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five. It might seem like it'll take a while for us to get through all these, but I know they aren't very full. When I was younger, I used to just take stuff that I like out of the sketchbook. So this is basically just everything I didn't like that I kept in here. <laughs> I don't know what order these all go in. I just know they're from when I was like 15 or 16 years old. Uh, so I guess we'll just pick one and start looking through it. So here's this one. It's pretty thin. As we can see, I tore a lot of paper out of it. On the first page, we just have some little derpy doodles. Um, this was probably accounting homework or something. And then we have this little girl. Uh, one thing that annoys me about these sketchbooks is that I waste a lot of paper. Like, look at this. Like, I just do little drawings and then I'll just waste a ton of the paper. I don't know why I was like this. Uh, but it annoys me now because now I make sure to use like all of the paper and I feel bad if I have any like white space or a ton of white space. But like look at this. I just drew this tiny little thing and nothing else. Um, also this was my original character Claire. She's very tiny. And here we have an unfinished head that I didn't finish probably because I didn't like it. Oh, this is a little planning idea. I was trying to plan out a card for my mom. I still have the card somewhere. I'm not sure where though. Here we have a little pen doodle. More blank paper. 
This is a post practice I did and this looks like algebra homework. So I was probably like 15 here maybe. Wow, I did a lot of homework in my sketchbook. <laughs> probably because I didn't really have a notebook so I would just do my homework in my sketchbook. And I say homework but I was just like doing my homeschooling. I was homeschooled. Oh, I actually kind of remember this one. I was trying to draw, I think maybe Gumi the Vocaloid, or this was inspired by Gumi the Vocaloid, uh, but I didn't like how it was going, so I stopped. <laughs> uh, there's just this random shark. I'm not sure why. I think it was from a how to draw book of some kind and it showed how to draw a shark. This page has my full name on it, so I'm gonna cover it up. Uh, but this is a little chibi panda girl. I actually remember quite liking this one. I thought it was quite cute. I found an unfinished link. <laughs> uh, I was copying a panel from the Legend of Zelda manga. I think this is from the Orcrina of Time one. I'm not sure why I didn't finish it because it looked like it was going kind of good. Oh, I remember these characters. Okay, so I had a little story that was about these characters that worked at a hotel. And uh, she was the main character and she was really shy. Um, and then this was one of the girls that worked at the hotel. She was like a maid or I'd help clean up. And he was like a bellman or like a doorman or something. I don't remember a ton about the story, just that it took place in a small town with a small hotel. Oh, this looks like it was the ideas for that story. So main ideas, grandma dies, oh my. <laughs> uh, so I guess the grandma was supposed to die. Uh, there's a love triangle. Girl comes to hotel, girl takes over hotel. <laughs> it's all very simple, but I guess those were my main ideas for the story. Um, I think this was trying to plan out the layout for the hotel or something. So like there are doors here. This might be couches and then stairs. Uh, and this is like a rug maybe. <laughs> I don't really remember. Okay, so that is all for this first sketchbook. Uh, now we'll move on to the second one. Oh my, it looks like one of my siblings got to my sketchbook. This would happen pretty often. A lot of my siblings were really little when I was about 15, 16. So sometimes they would scribble in my sketchbook. I actually kind of remember this page. I was trying to copy the style of Haruta Nana. I think that's her name. Uh, she makes shoujo manga, but I remember trying to copy how she does eyes. Oh, they got to this page too. Uh, here we have some tiny little doodles. Once again, I'm wasting a lot of paper. Why was I like this? <laughs> I could fill this entire video of me just going through the blank pages, but I'll cut all that out. <laughs> Um, I remember not liking this at all. I didn't like this, so I didn't finish it. Right here we have some more algebra homework, and right here I was trying to draw in the Phineas and Ferb style, and we have a bunny and some kind of doodle, and my sibling got two more of my sketchbook. <laughs> it was probably Ruth who drew in my sketchbook because I think she was a toddler around this time. Uh, so yeah, I think it was Ruth. More algebra homework, and this looks like me trying to draw a braid or something. And then this really derpy doodle. <laughs> um, this looks like more hair practice. I was trying to learn how to draw braids and draw hair more. I think I followed, oh, what was her name back then? I think she went by Bailey Creations or Zed Kitty Zed. Uh, she did a how to draw braid tutorial. Here we have this one little dude on this ginormous piece of paper. <laughs> Why wouldn't I draw more on the page? It's so weird. Back then I never really watched sketchbook tours, so I didn't really know how people used sketchbooks. But then once I saw how other people use sketchbooks, I started to keep them in a more normal way. Instead of ripping stuff out that I liked and then just like throwing away the rest of the sketchbook. Well, I guess I didn't throw them away. They just got put into storage. Uh, so yeah, but still, why wouldn't I fill up more of the paper? Cause look at this, all this wasted space. <laughs> okay, I won't rant anymore about the wasted space. What even is this? It looks so weird. Uh, this looks like an anatomy practice for a boy. Back then, I don't really think I drew boys that often. At least not full body boy poses, because I didn't like drawing them. Oh, this looks like a perspective practice. 
and it kind of looks like I was following a Mark Curly tutorial. <laughs> oh, here's some more perspective practice. Uh, it's definitely kind of wonky, but it is a practice. Uh, so good job past me. Oh, here we have some hand practices back when I really hated drawing hands. Here are some little characters. I used to have my sketchbooks be so plain, like I would just draw a pencil. Now I use a bunch of different colors and try to make it look kind of pretty. Back then I used to just do a bunch of little drawings of heads and stuff. It looks like a sibling got to this one too. I think there's more art from my sibling in this sketchbook than my own art. They scribbled on a ton of the pages. Oh, these look like some little expression practices. So here we have happy and confused and sad. Back then, expressions used to kind of confuse me, so I would try to practice them. And the final page of the sketchbook is art made by one of my siblings. Okay, so now we're on to sketchbook number three. Whoa, this one's super thin. It won't take very long to go through. Aw, this little chibi's kind of cute. Oh, I kind of remember this character. I don't remember what I named him, but I kind of remember him. And look how pointy his chin is. It's so pointy. We're getting to my pointy chin phase and I don't like that phase. It looks like right here I was coloring with markers of some sort. I was probably using Crayola markers. Right here, I didn't really have Copic markers. Uh, so yeah. Oh, I remember this. This is from when I was trying to enter the doodle for Google. Once in a while or like once a year, Google will hold a doodle for Google and you have to try to make a picture using the Google logo. And I think the theme was like your best day ever. So uh, this was a little sketch of maybe like a wedding day being the best day ever. Oh my gosh, what's with all the blank paper? Here we have a little dude. I'm trying to find my actual idea that I went with. Oh, here we have another dude. Once again, very pointy chin. <laughs> Whoa, this guy has some crazy hair. <laughs> It's so spiky. Oh, this guy's kind of interesting looking. It looks like I was trying to practice drawing anatomy. Uh, so the idea I went with was that I got to publish a book and I'm at like a bookstore or something and there is different letters in the background. I went with an idea more like this where I'm standing. Um, I'll try to put the finished picture up on screen. I remember spending so much time on it. I didn't win any prizes but I made my best day ever being that I got to publish a book. <laughs> okay, so that's the end of sketchbook number three. Now we'll move on to number four. Oh my, it looks like another sibling got to this one. Here we have some more algebra homework and I hope this is marker. <laughs> uh, more homework and these little lazy doodles that I probably did while doing my homework. Oh, I remember this. I was trying to draw a dragon. Uh, it looks kind of interesting. It looks like a very tiny dragon. <laughs> I find it interesting to see how much I drew of pencil. I hardly ever draw with pencil now. Oh wait, this is from my first tutorial. <laughs> um, so I didn't show this one in the video because I didn't like it, but this was from my first eye tutorial that I posted on YouTube. And this was from the boy eye tutorial. I didn't think I would find those in this sketchbook. Um, but yeah, back to what I was talking to. I'm not sure if I finished my thought on that. I used to draw a pencil a lot. I hardly ever draw a pencil now. Uh, this was a girl standing in like the rain waiting for a bus, it seemed. I never really like using pencil now because it smudges, so I prefer to use like color pencil and markers and stuff like that. The drawings are so tiny. Why would I draw so, so tiny? Like literally, this is it compared to my thumb. It's so small. <laughs> Oh, this dragon's really weird. <laughs> Look at it. There's probably a reason why I didn't finish it. Its body looks so weird. And on the final page of the sketchbook, we have some more math homework. Uh, so now we'll go on to the final one. So here is the last sketchbook. Let's see what's inside. Oh no. They really drew on this one. Uh, it looks like I was trying to draw it in a different style. I kind of remember this one. Uh, but yeah, then it got scribbled all over so we can hardly see her face. Uh, this looks like I was trying to draw a tree. It doesn't make much sense and it looks very messy and a bit all over the place. Uh, I think I've gotten better at drawing trees. Oh, I remember this one. I was quite pleased with it actually. 
I was looking at a picture and trying to draw what I see. Uh, so it's kind of a landscape practice. I remember I was quite pleased with it. Oh, I also remember this one. I was trying to draw a castle, but I didn't know how to draw a castle. So I was looking at one of my little brother's like toy castles and I kind of tried to draw it or kind of draw inspiration from it. Uh, so yeah, a castle. Oh, this was from Mark Curley's How to Draw book, I think. It looks like the same body proportion style. I remember I really liked that How to Draw book. Uh, but can we take a second to look at the wrinkles on his pants? <laughs> they kind of make no sense. Oh, this was also from Mark Curley's How to Draw book. But I remember I didn't follow it very faithfully. I just kind of looked at it and then looked away and ended up with this. And I remember I hated this very much. Here we have some eyes and a bunch of empty space again. <laughs> I know I say I'm not gonna talk about it again, but like, it's so annoying. Why would I waste so much paper? Also more art created by one of my siblings. They really like to get into my sketchbooks. Now I keep my sketchbook on a high shelf where they can't get it. Like I protect it very much. Compared to like back then, I would just keep my sketchbook on the table by my homework and stuff. So it was very easy to get into. Oh, and then there's this one. I tried to follow the tutorial a little more faithfully and really tried to copy it and it turned out much better. Oh, this is when I was deciding what I wanted Jade's eye to look like. Jade was one of my original characters and I guess I wanted her eye to look like that. Here are some little drawings. I think right here I was trying to draw myself and then I was just drawing some eyes. And I think I might have been designing a character right here or something, but I'm not 100% sure. Maybe I was drawing so many eyes because I was trying to decide on an eye style. That might be it because there's quite a few different eyes in this book. Oh, I kind of remember this one. I remember I was playing around with my style. I was trying to make the eyes maybe a little bit more simple. This is kind of how I do the eyes now for like my chibis or my chibi elf style. So I kind of kept it. And here's some more eye experimentation. I think I was considering this eye style after watching the anime K-On. I think I had watched some episodes back then. Uh, and then I thought the style was really cute. Here we have a little anatomy practice. It kind of looks like an alien. Okay, so here's the final page for this video. What's it gonna be? And it's more art created by one of my siblings. <laughs> oh, actually I found a little bit more. I found these loose pieces of paper. Uh, so here's this little drawing. It kind of looks like me, but at the same time it doesn't. Maybe it's supposed to be me. And uh, here we have these little doodles. We have a little chibi and this girl sitting on a bench. I feel like these are from later. Oh, this one's actually dated 2013. So I would have been like 18 years old. So yeah, these are from a little bit later. So we are now done looking through all of these old sketchbooks that my mom found in the garage attic. <laughs> it was fun going back and seeing the kinds of things I drew when I was in my mid-teens. I hope you enjoyed going through these old sketchbooks with me. Before we end the video, I want to say thank you so much to my lovely patrons over on Patreon for supporting my work and my channel. It means so much to me. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all next week in my next video. Bye!